Hello creative folks and thank you so much for being here with me in this exciting new tutorial of Affinity Photo. In this tutorial I'm going to explain you all about the blend modes. So without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. To demonstrate this tutorial, I'm using a fill layer where I'm going to change it from white to dark to show you the changes. This special photo that I have created particularly for this tutorial where I have a few gradient layers and color circles. In last tutorial, I explained you all the blend modes, especially the dark blend modes, darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, and darker color. In this tutorial, I'll be following up on lighten, screen, color dodge, and lighter color. All those modes are exact opposite of the dark modes. As usual, I do have a fill layer, so it turns from white to black. Now, I have selected lighten and still white. If I go to the dark area, slowly, I'm going to show you again. It reveals the brightest part first and any brighter color. And the last one is the dark. And as I go to completely black, my fill layer gets transparent. So I'm gonna show you from the normal, which is the traditional blend mode. So it essentially originally was black to white. If I change it to lighten, the black gets transparent. As you move to the white, it attacks all the bright part first until it gets completely white. What that stands for, portrait photography. So I'm going to turn this one off. I have a photograph of myself as usual where I have a dark part and a bright part and my shadow as a my head, shadow of my head. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to go there slowly. I'm going to stop halfway, right about 50. You see, there is something interesting. See the shadow of my head? It got attacked first. Same as my shadow area. My bright area is still kind of protected but has a nice faded look until it gets completely white which is essentially as i mentioned earlier opposite of our darken in darken the white is transparent and if you move it attacks the white area first protect the shadow area until it gets completely black lighten is exactly opposite it attacks the shadow first until it gets completely white same for a landscape photography because look, we all do portrait, we all do landscape, we all do all kind of photography. So you just don't know when you need that. So I tried my best to have the most common ground for everybody to explain this. A portrait, a landscape and a color checker. So if I do the same thing on a landscape and then change it, you can see the white houses are being revealed first. The shadows are still dark. As I move on to the dark area, you can see the shadows are still there now shadows are being revealed and it's completely visible now right now next one is screen again remember i said everything the dark modes does this is the opposite so in the multiply the white was transparent black was black but in between it has like a fade you know in video it kind of like a you have a video and it's fading out like that so that's what it does. It kind of gives you the faded look of the dark. Add, sorry, screen is exactly same but opposite direction. So the black remains transparent. But as you move to the white, it start to get like a faded white look uh, before it gets completely white. It kind of a popular mode to give a kind of faded look to portrait or landscape photography to give some kind of like a film look. We'll get into that in the future. But remember, screen black transparent white gets white in between it globally makes everything white become until it becomes completely white same for our portrait if i do that you see it's globally affecting everything dark or bright doesn't matter it's affecting dark and bright equally now i'm going to change it to the color dodge Color dodge is exactly opposite of color burn. So I'm going to remind you what color burn does. White transparent, black, completely black. In between, it affects the shadow first. 
before it touches the highlight now I'm gonna go back to the black change it to the color dodge this time not color burn color dodge so black remain transparent as I'm moving towards white it's affecting my highlights and burning it completely until completely white does it remind you of something you'll be surprised see that our ex famous exposure to change exposure of course what if I try to put the exposure up hang on a second isn't that the same thing yeah exactly so I'm gonna turn this on off and do the same thing so color dodge and go up so yeah if, if you're imagining whatever you're imagining you'd be right the exposure change and the color dodge from dark to white does exactly the same thing there are no difference at all I'm going to show you with another example I'm going to turn my photo off and turn on the landscape and try to do the same thing beep and now I'm going to turn on the adjustment, this one, and try to do the same thing. Yep, that's right. It does exactly the same thing. There's no difference at all. So, is that means if the color touch going from dark to white raised exposure, is that means the color burn does exactly opposite? Let's find out. So, I'm going to go backward and I'm going to show you by turning down the exposure slowly. I'm going to do it slowly, as slow as I possibly can. So I'm going to reset that. So we saw that, right? Now I'll do the same thing, white to black. So yes, color burn from white to dark, reduce the exposure. Color dodge from dark to white, raise the exposure. That's the only explanation. After the explanation of these blend modes, I'm going to tell you, which is, I'm going to tell you right now, each of the blend modes somehow directly or indirectly related to all the adjustment layer you'll be learning in future. Imagine the blend modes are basically the manual mode where all the adjustment layer they are actually blend modes with names. I will show you exactly what I mean in future I promise you. But each of the adjustment layer exposure, shadow, highlight, brightness, color you name it, black and white they're all kind of one way or another are blend modes but modified version because the adjustment is supposed to make your life easy where the blend modes they're kind of like more scientific more mathematical that's all nothing else other than that they've all does the same thing anyway i'm gonna stick to the topic so color dodge are basically exposure when you move from white black to white it raised exposure we established that with proof now moving on to add so when i do add the black remains completely transparent but when we are moving completely to the white surprisingly or not it's still doing more or less the same thing but bit more linear way so remember in our dark side dark side <laughs> the dark modes the linear burn and color burn they are more or less the same thing but bit more subtle add is exactly the same thing but a bit more subtle so it's still kind of raised the exposure up as you can clearly tell by the example but a bit more subtle way i don't see any subtleness in it anyway for me it's still uh, quite aggressive so uh, add and color dodge are the same thing and now we're going to talk about the last mode of the bright blend modes the lighter color do you remember that in the last video i showed you the darkened color the white remains transparent the dark remains dark but it as it's moving towards the dark area it tries to protect all the colors i'm going to turn this one on you see it's trying to protect the colors before it gets completely dark like beep 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 there you go it's nothing smooth darken and darker color they are both same thing but darker color try to protect the red green blue first before it gets darker the lighter color it does exactly same thing but in opposite direction so the black remains transparent as you moving up 
he tries to protect the white first before it attacks the final white the light hand it's just smooth white quite smooth but when you do the light and color if i move slowly black goes first the blue after red green the magenta and pink middle gray white and yellow finally the red i took my time extremely so you know what i mean it attacks the color first before it affects everything else I'm going to show you with my photo, my own photo, because why not? So I'm going to go slowly, doing the same thing, affecting the shadow area first, but and get, trying to get my color as well, as you can see, the wall and my skin tone before it gets completely white. Again, with the landscape, I'm going to go up, up. It's attacking the blue sky and anything blue in the photo. Then the green, orange is the last, and then finally the white houses. So in this tutorial, we covered all the the light modes. So repeat the video and over and over again. Totally understand. If you don't understand something or it still gets confusing, that is the reason why internet and YouTube are full of gazillion tutorials to explain the same thing in many ways possible which is understandably normal because if that was easy to understand nobody would make that many tutorials so if you don't understand this blend modes yet completely believe me you're not the only one previous tutorial we covered all the dark modes in this tutorial we covered all the bright modes in next tutorial i'm going to cover overlay soft light hard light vivid light linear light pin light hard mix Essentially, they are all between the dark and the light, so they are like in the middle gray. Therefore, they are the most one of the most used blend modes in photography manipulation history. I'm going to get to it in next videos. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.